Hi there, I am here to walk you through the Etzel student data document, which we're looking at right now. So when you open it up, you'll see on the far left is a student grade column. Now, if you teach one grade level, you can just put um, the same grade level, you know, second, first, kindergarten, whatever it is, in just the top um, row only, and that's fine. If you teach a split level, you'll want to put the grade for each student. Then what we ask in the second column is that you either put an assigned student number or student initial. So if it's me, I'm Hannah Ryapel, so there are my initials. Um, you can use their numbers. We just ask that you do not include student names for the privacy of the students. Um, and then what you'll see in the next column is at the top it says assessment one name. So you can actually click into here and you can put in the assessment that you use, um, whatever subtest it is, the details and the goal of the scores for the students for the beginning, mid, and end of the year. So next to their name, let's say I'm in second grade, but I scored a middle of first grade. And then again, in the middle of the year, you're gonna enter the score on the same assessment or subtest. Um, so I don't know, maybe I made a couple of months of improvement. And then by the end of the year, hopefully, I am closer to where I should be. And what you'll see is over here in the assessment one change column, it's auto. It's gonna auto populate the change between the end of the year minus the beginning of the year score. So you'll be able to see students improvement. So you don't even have to worry about that one just as you add in these columns, this one's gonna change. Now, if you use a second assessment or subtest, there's another um, column over here with the auto change a third assessment or subtest with the auto change, and a fourth um, with the auto change. If you do use more than four assessments or subtests that you want to share with us, um, you can just do a couple of different documents. You can even go down here, right click, and um, you can copy this sheet to make a new one, and then just name it, you know, 2019-2020A, 2019-2020B. Um, you can click here to rename the sheet as well. We ask you to type the school year in so that we're able to tell um, what school year we're working with. And then at the very end of the Etzel, when you're all done with the school year, we're gonna ask you once the end of year scores have all been added in for all your students, that you are gonna send it to us. And you'll do that actually within the Etzel. Um, so with any questions, you can always email info at ebly.com. And we hope that you enjoy this easy way to input your student data and we look forward to seeing your data. Thanks so much.